Hey everybody, it's Angela. I just wanted to share with you this mini album that I created using the recipes from Scrap Girl's cookie recipe swap they had in December. And what I did was I printed out the recipes and what's awesome about this is that when you participate in the swap you get the actual high resolution images later, not the resolution that's posted in the gallery, but a higher resolution. So I printed these out a little larger. I used the 5x7 size so that I could read them a little easier. And then I bound them um, using a spiral binder. And But you could use pretty much any kind of binding system or you could use um, punch three holes and use binding rings. That way you could add to it. Um, since this one's, you know, it's a it's pretty thick, so I thought, well, I'm just going to do this one month cookie recipe swap all as just one album. And I put a few little charms on here. I've got um, a little sieve, uh, a grater, and a knife. And I think these are, um, these are dollhouse miniatures. And I put them on here with a ball chain. And then I have just um, some clear acetate with some satin flowers on there and some card stock for my uh, front and back and I rounded the corners on everything just to give it kind of a finished look um, and when I printed them out five by seven when I trimmed them I left a half an inch on the left uh, for my binding so that wouldn't interfere with the cards and I did uh, print them double sided just to keep the bulk of the uh, album down and so essentially it's just got all these beautiful recipes that everybody made. This is done by Celtic Lady. And then there's like on the other side Becky, some with cute little photos on there. This is um Taylor's grandma, baking cookies with grandma. They all have this wonderful artwork. all done tested recipes. This one's by TC. It's by Tiza. Peppermint bark. Almond kisses. I mean it just goes on and on. I forget, I believe there was over a hundred um, recipes during this swap. This is by Tinkerbell. This is by Anne BK. I love how she feathered the sides of her photo out like that. Isn't that... that just looks so yummy. And, um... Let's see what else we got. There's ones uh, from people in other countries. You've got people from New Zealand, Australia, and so you get to see other recipes. And also, because they do post these in the gallery, um, if I have questions on these, I could look, I could um, send a private message to one of these ladies if I actually had a question on the actual recipe, which isn't something you can do in a normal cookbook, and that's what makes, um, makes this so great. Now, Scrap Girls does a swap every month, and it's hosted by April, and thank you very much April. There's Pat's. Isn't that pretty? Those look yummy. Waffle cookies. Got caramel coin, corn. So pretty much every month you can, there's a different theme and you can participate and get everybody's recipe cards and, you know, start your own collection. You can print them out um, four by six and put them into uh, photo albums made for 4 by 6 photographs. You could put them into 8.5 by 11, um, print them two up on a page, put them 8.5 by 11 binder. Uh, there's just so many ways you can, you know, work with them. I, a lot of times on recipes that I use a lot of, will do them in the 4 by 6 and then I run them through a laminator. So this is um, strawberry rhubarb pie recipe I shared in a previous swap that was recipes that involved fruit, I think. And this was what I submitted, and it's one I do a lot, so I just 
glued it onto some cardstock, ran it through my laminator. This fits right into my recipe card box. So I do this with the recipes that I use a lot, but there's just so many options you can do and so many recipes at your fingertips by so many great gals. And again, I want to thank April for hosting the swaps and everybody who participated. Um, I've got your recipe here in this book, girls, so if I have questions, I'll probably be contacting you. But thanks a lot for participating. Talk to you later. Bye.